Here's how to fix your iPhone black screen, but still working. Now, if you have an iPhone and the screen completely turns black, but you know that it is still working, there's no issues internally with the hardware, your phone is fine, but essentially the touch screen is not working, it goes black. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process to get that fixed. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, what I usually find is sometimes I'm on the phone, the phone turns black, but then I go to hang up the call or to maybe do something else and it never really turns on. And maybe you can tap on it, but it doesn't really work to enable your phone and switch it from the black screen to a screen that you can do. Now, one thing that you could use is the raise to wake. This is a really great feature. Now, if you're able to get into your settings, Tap on settings and scroll down to display and brightness. And you're gonna to want to enable raise to wake. Essentially what this means is if you have your phone like this, and then you go like this to look at it, it will detect that motion and then immediately wake up so that you can start using it and enable your phone to be working normally. Now, another thing that I would recommend doing is basically doing a force restart. So on here, you can always do a force restart just by, let me pull up a diagram for you. There's a really cool diagram here. Basically it says volume up, volume down, and then the side button, press and hold it. So again, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the side button until everything goes black and the Apple logo turns on. Basically what this does is it force restarts everything, even if there's an issue with the software, the hardware will just completely shut down and then reboot. Now, another thing I would recommend doing after you go through these steps, if you're still having that issue with the black screen is to head into your settings, tap on general, and then software update. Just check to see if there's a software update because sometimes there's bugs or glitches in the iOS operating system that just by updating your iPhone to the latest iOS operating system, a lot of times will fix any kind of bugs or glitches that might be causing issues with the screen. Now, the last thing that I would recommend doing on your phone is that a lot of times these screen protectors or cases on your phone will cause issues with the screen's touch screen, essentially making it so that it can't register that you're actually touching your phone. So I would recommend taking the case off, taking the screen protector off, cleaning it with kind of a damp cloth, and then testing it and seeing if that touch screen works normally, if you're able to swipe up, move around, navigate through different apps. Now, if you've gone through this entire process, but it still is not working, then I would recommend just taking it into Apple, having them plug it in and run some diagnostics. Maybe there's an issue with your display itself or screen, or maybe the basically touch screen motor on here is just not working. I'm gonna walk you through those steps here, but us ultimately, Apple will have other diagnostics and other steps that they can walk you through to get that fixed, or maybe they just need to replace your iPhone screen or your entire iPhone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.